Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman number 18. On this episode I make a fidget spinner cap and what that is is it goes in the center of this fidget spinner and it makes it easier to hold on to. Stick around if you want to see how I did that. First thing I did was take the dimensions off the cap that he had and then I set up my order of operations. And since there are two parts, we have the male part and the female part. The order of operations of the male part is to turn the big outer diameter. And I'll turn the small diameter, thread it, and cut it and face it to size. Then on the female part, I'll turn the outer diameter, then turn the boss, drill and tap the blind hole, cut the face, and then dance for the ladies. So I start off by cutting a piece of the aluminum that I poured into a big old square thing and it's kind of square but I know I can get the round part out of here and I really enjoy watching something go from uh, square and raggedy to round and smooth. So I start off with this and get the center in it and then I start taking off uh, the metal. As a newbie and learning how to do this, it really kind of is cool to me going from an interrupted cut and getting it down to where it's a nice smooth, uh, smooth that is, continuous cut. As I start getting it close to size, I stop every now and then and measure it up. Well, first of all, to make sure this round, but second of all, making sure that I get it at the right size. Now that I got one side all cleaned up, I turn it around and see if I can get the other side also turned cylindrical. But you'll notice I have a three jaw here, but then I switch over to the six jaw because I just couldn't get it centered up as nicely as I wanted in that three jaw. So I switched over to the six jaw and it's centered up nicely. And now once again, it's just a matter of getting that cleaned up and uh, turned cylindrical. I'm looking to get this to a nice snug fit onto the bearing. An excellent sliding fit with no slop, so I'm quite happy with that. Right here I'm measuring and make a slight mistake in the sense of I'm trying to make this perfect, but it turns out I made it a little too short. And now I turn my attention to make the little register that when it tightens up on the bearing, the bearing on the inside will, will tighten up on the inner race but still be able to friend, uh, free spin that is. And now I switch over to a collet and I'm going to clean up the back side of it now. To make it fit comfortable, you put a little recess in there where your finger and your thumb go. So I have a, a rounding tool and I'm just cutting out stock from the center just to put a slight recess in it to make it comfortable. And now I start the beautification process of polishing it up with a little Scotch-Brite. Now that the male part is completed, it's time to switch over and do the female part. And it's pretty much the same thing, getting it down to size. But on this case, there won't be a poker outer. It'll be a pokey any, and it'll be drilled and tapped. If anyone's curious what I tapped it at, I tapped it at uh, a quarter 28, and that's just because it was quarter inch and fine threads. And I thought it will stay longer with the, I mean, stay tighter with the fine threads. 
and with the bearing in place it fits beautifully. Now I just clean up the female part and cut it down to size. And just like I put the recess on the male part, I put the recess on the female part about the same just to make it once again more comfortable in, in the hand. And here she be all polished up and ready to go, but then I noticed just a little short on the part sticking out and I want it to be cleaner. So on my second attempt at it, and the main reason I'm showing you my second attempt here is just to have a little something to watch while I'm babbling. But what I wanted to do here was make it so that the male part stuck out from the female I can stick the whole thing back in the lathe and machine it flat so it looks like a smoother surface. Now I'm still using pop can aluminum just like I did on the first one but in this case it's some that I poured down a cylindrical tube and it was round stock so I'm taking that and using the round stock now instead of that cutting off another piece from the square stock. And you'll notice that I'm going a little longer on the male part than I did on my first go at it. And once again, here's my cutoff tool. Now that that male part's completed, off to the female on my second attempt at this. And it's not an attempt, they both work, but I'm just trying to get it a little bit more perfected. Now after these get cut off, I try to figure out how am I going to machine the parts that are the rough cuts. And I did figure it out, guys. Here's what I did. I stuck the parts back in and got them real close indicated on the six jaw and faced these parts here. And then to cut off the end, I put a bearing in it, stuck it back in the six jaw, and was able to machine the three pieces together and made it nice and flush. Hey guys, a couple of lessons learned. Uh, on the male part, make sure you make it long enough uh, so that when you're facing it off, it'll be flush. Uh, also, I wish I would have filmed how I took the small pieces and put them back in to face those off to make them smooth. I just wanted to get it done, but uh, in retrospect, I should have filmed that so you guys could see how I did that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next Journey to Journeyman.